how terrible we were, now upset about the black girlfriend trend is because these other races know how to treat a black woman and they know exactly what they're looking at when they see the black woman. Black wives are for grown-ups. The billionaire said black wives are for grown-ups. You can't afford a woman. You shouldn't get a woman. We are in debt. I think you have nice bodies, I guess. Hey, all right. I like the color. I like the color. Hispanic women don't have nice bodies. 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 To stop their daughters from marrying black men. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe, also smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. So apparently Ben Horowitz has said billionaires prefer black women and some black men are upset. We do not care. But do you know what's so funny is every time one of these black men who don't date black women, and I have met several, every time one of these black men who don't date black women is called out for it, what do they say? It's just a preference. It's just a preference. I'm not racist, I'm not colorist, it's just a preference. So it's, it's okay to have a preference, just not when we're the preference. <laughs> pushing for that hard. A lot of women, tons of women are pushing for it hard. When that guy that said just a preference, of course we already know he's dead wrong. It's not a preference. It was many things guys have went through. It's much bigger than preference, but... We we'll, we'll let them tell it how they want to tell it. Just last week, a bunch of black men came on the internet talking about everything that's wrong with black women and why we aren't getting picked by these male black athletes. Fast forward to now, we have the black girlfriend, black wife effect. And then we just had this billionaire put out the statement talking about how black women are for grown men and that billionaires prefer black women because of everything that we bring to the table. Why am I now seeing a lot of the same men who last week were talking about how terrible we were, now upset about the black girlfriend trend and what the billionaire said about black women. Every time black women are being uplifted as a whole, y'all always seem to find an issue in it. You can't clock when you are being fetishized, but suddenly you can tell when a black woman is being fetishized when other men of other races are suddenly calling us beautiful and want us. Y'all make it very clear every day that we are not your preference. So we go out and find people who prefer us and that also makes you mad. What do you want? What do you want? What I don't- You know what point women are missing? Guys that talk about this, like me, me, myself, and guys I know have never said black women are beautiful. Black women are some of the most beautiful women on the face of the earth. Actually, and I've seen a lady, right? This is lady. My wife showed me her today. She's from the Philippines. And she's black and Filipino mixed, right? And she has to be one of the most stunning. She actually won Miss Universe. Mabua Universe, ako si Chelsea Manalo. Mula sa unang republika ng Pilipinas, ang dakilang lalawigan ng Bulacan. And she happens to be one of the most stunning. I have always faced challenges in my life. I was told that beauty is has a standard, actually. My mother, so always believe in yourself. Uphold the values that you have in yourself. Because of these, I am already influencing a lot of women who are facing me right now as a transformational woman. Winners ever, right? She has that model look. It was only a matter of a minute. And she looks mostly black. She doesn't look Filipina at all. She looks black. She looks like a model. She looks straight model. She looks like one of those girls when you see an African model. You, that's her, right? Gorgeous. One Miss Universe. Why was it so easy for her to win? Because hands down, even more than the other Miss Universe, she was the most prettiest one, right? When it comes to the aesthetics, you know, jawline, all that stuff, gorgeous. Now, I say this also about regular black women. They're gorgeous. But what happens? I remember I seen a show, right? I wish I had it, where 
the guy actually out of all the women, it was white woman there. It was a woman from another country, another different country, and then it was a black woman. He wanted a black woman more. She didn't believe it, so she canceled herself out. She canceled herself out, and she was his top choice. What did that prove? They don't know. They always doubt themselves. It's not that we doubt them. It's you doubting you. And that's facts. And if you're not familiar with that, it's literally white men showing how their black wife took them from A to B. And a lot of times it's them. They're a different style. They have a different aura. They just have a different, you know, demeanor about themselves because they married these black women. And a lot of us were starting to see a lot of black women gravitate towards white men and specifically other cultures or other races. And I'm bringing this up because it's more prominent than we may believe. A lot of black women have this mindset. They may not be, you know, actively going out to seek other races, but it's definitely something they're considering. And this isn't being talked about enough, enough in my humble opinion. And I believe that this is happening, you know, black women choosing to date other races, is because these other races know how to treat a black woman and they know exactly what they're looking at when they see the black woman. The black woman is going to go where she is respected, honored, praised. She's going to go where she doesn't need to worry about a man knowing his role, knowing that he's a provider so he will financially provide for the entire family. They don't have a problem going to men like that because they know that their nature calls to be with men like that. And unfortunately, we have a damaged perception. Black women have a damaged perception of ourselves as well as our black men. Therefore, we don't see that the black man is the man that can facilitate what we desire as women. So we are naturally are going to go to other races if we feel as if they're... Now, black men have no problem. A lot of times, the issue is what? Attitude, believing in your man, right? A woman staying consistent with her man. That's usually what guys are talking about. Let me let her finish. When you treat us how we know we deserve to be treated. And we can honestly say the same thing about black men. They too are seeking other races to reproduce with. And I really want us to think about the fact that is this a coincidence or is this something that is being programmed to happen? Now, I know this isn't a case for every single black woman. I know, I know, I know. However, a lot of black women are giving up on black men. And I want to know why. What is it about the black men that we no longer feel as if they could be our peace? What's happening? I don't know. What, I want to know your opinion. Let me know in the comments. Well, yeah, what's happening is the same thing. I'm getting tired of saying it. You all want the same guy. He's not available for all of you. You want the guy with the swagger, that dresses nice, with a lot of money. There's not many of them out there. And tall, too. Right? I, I would fit a lot of those. I'm just not tall. <laughs> I'm eh, X'd out. Eh, I'm not six feet. Eh. That That's the problem. That's the problem. Eh. For the smallest thing. Oh, you, you got all that, but... Eh. It's really like that. But um, also, the issue is, is them thinking. Now, let, let, let's scratch that. Scratch all of that, right? Take a look at this. Do you see the woman in the picture with that guy? How does she come across? What kind of attitude she comes across like she brings? She comes across like she's feminine, right? She's feminine and delicate. And that's what guys want to find. And what are guys saying about women? They're not feminine and delicate. Oh, well, no, I had to be this rough. I had to fight all my life. Please come to the front. Please come to the front. My black women, come on back to the brothers. <laughs> black wives are for grown-ups. The billionaire said black wives are for grown-ups. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> He got on here yesterday and said, I never said that. I never even spoke to the woman who originally posted it. Oh, my God. Like, why y'all capping on that man's name? They don't want y'all like that. Oh, the billionaire white men said we're desirable. Calm down. <laughs> Come on back. It's funny, though, right? How, how damaged y'all are from the men that y'all have chosen. And then y'all get on here and find any way to bash black men. And what do you know? That man, y'all putting words in that man's mouth. Y'all thought y'all had a friend, and now look at y'all. Clowning. Just, just clowning. Y'all find any way to clown black men. Shout out to my sisters that stood strong, but the ones that was bashing black men, oh my goodness. 
I hope y'all find some healing one day and just, just go heal from the man that, that destroyed you in that aspect. I, I really do. And as hard as it may sound, it just shows y'all that these black women look as white men as superiors and as Superman to save them. Meanwhile, they look at black men as inferior, as less than. And they showed their ass weak. Oh, I love I love when people make them look stupid. I, I just I love when it gets thrown back in their faces. Good luck. Yes, good luck. Because what 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 are you doing right now? Like you're turning all of the guys that are left over, right? And putting the sour taste in their mouth. Like it's not a fight. Everything happening with even take a look at Soft Guy Era from Scarface Mark there, Passport Bros, right? Why is that happening? It's not because of black women. It's because of all women, number one, right? I don't know how y'all think that it's all about y'all, right? Because when I was in the West, I dealt with all women. Spanish, white, black. So me and a lot of other guys are departing from all women. But you know what? I probably would have had a chance if I would have said, you know what? I'm going to deal with mostly other races, but then still something falls short, right? So I had to get out, but let me get on to this though. Let me get back to this. Yesterday I made a video about the Ben Horowitz quote, preferring black women. And now we all know he didn't say it. And there are a lot of black men, a lot of black men <laughs> in my comments who want me to address it. Cool. Now, I did not fact check the quote, so you can drag me to hell and back for that. But part of the reason I didn't really feel the need to fact check it was because I wasn't really talking about Ben Horowitz. I was talking about the black men who were angry about the quote. Reverse psychology. You black men like, you know, these guys here. As a deeper skinned black woman, I have heard pretty much my whole life how undesirable I am. And I've heard it almost exclusively from black men. Nevertheless, I love black men. I'm married to a black man. My father is a black man. My nephews are black men. I love black men. If you're a black man who loves black women, then nothing in that video was aimed towards you. But as they say, a hit dog will holler. Anywho, the video's still up for now, um, so go watch it if you'd like. It may get taken down because Ben Horowitz is out here sending ceases and desistesses, and I'm not trying to get sued by a billionaire, but I do stand by everything I said. So, just so we're clear. That's not it. Oh, wait. There's more. There's more. There's more. Last week, a bunch of black men came on the internet talking about everything that's wrong with black women. I'm convinced every single man in my comments, every man stitching me, did not even watch the video fully through. Are we blind? They only heard that portion of the video, took it, and ran with it. And I'm not gonna sit here and keep repeating my point. My point is there, my point still stands. You're choosing hard as f for, for why? Why? Because all of the notions and harmful stereotypes that you have about black women is somehow further solidified because that quote doesn't exist or what? I would say a lot of y'all need to sit down and you know reflect, but I don't even think y'all have the capacity to. A lot of y'all should have been left behind as children. And I mean that as disrespectfully as possible, yeah. Wow. So what do they do? Double down on delusion. Double down on it. And my thing, I don't have no dog in this fight here, right? But why do y'all have such a dog in the fight? Because they do this. And then not them, not these one in particular. Then two days from now, you'll see another password bro video. Bashing guys for leaving. It's weird, right? They're saying all of this, you guys have your preferences, and then women still bash guys for leaving. You 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 don't you didn't see a big pull for guys bashing women going to the Gambia in Jamaica. Guys make fun of it because those those guys those guys are taking advantage of y'all. They really have no real desire to be with you. But guys on this side, you see women happy, women smiling air to air and satisfied, actually want to be with these guys. I actually would prefer being with these guys. Like out here in the Philippines, the women that date the older guys prefer an older, more responsible man that has his life together. It's different. Ladies, let me tell y'all something. Have you noticed 
do you see that only in the black community we have to discuss 50-50 paying the bills with these men on the earth? Y'all notice that, baby? That is. Mm -hmm. And that is. like a man, you have to be overt. Uh -huh. Women are the masters of like subliminal speak. Read between the lines of what she's saying, mm -hmm. right? Like women have their own kind of language that men sort of miss all the time. Baby, let me tell y'all something. I remember I was paying 50-50 bills in my guy's marriage. And I didn't mind helping when I needed. But guess what? Once I stopped paying 50-50 bills with the, in the marriage... He started doing whatever he wanted to do with his money. He wasn't taking the family out. He wasn't taking me out on dates. It was no togetherness. It was just 50-50 on the bills. Anytime you see a man want to do 50-50 and not take care of the full family by himself, he has an agenda. That money going to somebody else. And if he don't have enough mother money, he shouldn't even have another uh, mother uh, family. Say that again. If you can't afford a woman, you shouldn't get a woman. Making progress. Baby, take care of yourself by yourself. We only got to deal with that in the black community. Making me pay them feathery $300 for a $600 mortgage. You know why? Because I'm sure I had an agenda. <laughs> Baby, let me tell y'all something. Don't get caught up in that trap paying them 50-50 on them bills. You hear me? Don't get caught. And guess what? And I went along with it. And guess what happened? I went viral. I started making a whole lot of money. And them little feathery $300 that I was contributing wasn't sh That was it. My bank account. Ah! By the time I had divorced it, I had over $50,000 in my bank account. So let me yeah, because you got the money from him. Let me tell you something. If I'm making you pay 50-50, baby, go ahead and pay the 50-50, but you got to plan your way out. Okay, I'll tell y'all that in my book next. All right, let's be clear. This is why we're losing. As a black community, this is why. Right? And Lil, Good, Lil Goody touched on it. I've been new, knew these numbers, right? But Lil Goody touched on this chart. I've known about this chart since a long time ago. But I'm happy he touched on it because it's proving a point. And with the soft guy right is, is about togetherness, building together. But you see women like her don't want to do it. Let me let Little Goody take over. Look at it, income by ethnicity. We are in dead last place. Yes, we are. And look who's at the top. Indian Americans, household, median household income, 152,000. Filipino Americans is number two. Of course. Median household income, 100. Nine thousand, and then right after that, Asian American, and then Chinese American. What are these Asians? All of them, all these are Asians, right? You have Southeast Asians, you have um Pacific Asians, you also have Indian Americans are Asian too, right? And then Chinese American is Asian too. What do they have figured out? Togetherness, togetherness, right? What does that woman talk about? Divorcing African Americans dead last 51,000. Why is that? Because nobody wants to go 50 50, right? Now families need to gather together. When that kid hits his 20s, he needs to be contributing to the bills that serious. He that kid needs to add to the median household income. That's what needs to happen. Like, what do you think happens with Mexican Americans, right? They're low, they're at 66,000. But they'll have 10 people living in a home. So that's actually higher. Think about that. And think about those Filipinos that do that as well. But still, think about the people that do that. You have people that come over from Mexico, right? They'll be living in a home, 10, 15 people, all working. That number will probably be way higher. If you add the median household of a bunch of people living in the same house. Yeah. Togetherness. We don't have togetherness. Let me like a little goody finish. Well, I'll never go 50-50 with my man. Shut up. Look. Open your eyes for once and look. Wait a minute. Everybody pay attention. Read this with me. Median household income. 
That means it could be two people in a household making $51,374. And you're telling me you're going to use one income because you refuse to go 50-50 with your man? You will never make it. You will never make it. Listen, the black community, we need to change our thought process. Bill, you gotta, shut up. Shut up your mouth. We are Can you hear this song? The song is fitting. The it's sad. Go ahead, Goody. In dead last place. You know that baby face race song? A million cash race? We are in last place. <laughs> we do we make the least, but we spend the most. Let me show you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Black consumer spending is growing at a rate of 5% per year. Overall US consumer spending growth of 3%. We are spending more than the average American. Okay. Now, black spending power reached a record of 1.6 trillion in 2021. You know? By 2024, black people spending in the U.S. is going to reach $1.8 trillion. Meanwhile, we make the least. <laughs> like, are we using our brains? You're black and you hate the soft guy era while we promote partnership? Go back and watch this video. What place are we in again? It's sad, man. It's sad, but that's the state of society right now. And then you, you can't see all of this happen, happening and then wonder why guys are checking out, right? You wonder why guys are checking out? I'll show you a little bit about why guys are checking out. I would like to date a black guy because they're sexy. Nowadays, on TikTok, I watch a lot of videos of black guys dancing. And after watching those videos, I felt their charm. And the black guys look sexy. Black guys are desired always. And I can show you even more. I can keep going. Gabriel, Elsa. This, this is in Eastern Europe. My name is Sarah. And the question is, what do you think of black guys? Are you attracted? You're not attracted? Be completely honest, it's fine. <laughs> I won't be upset. Um, it's not my type. Okay, cool. And you? I don't know how to say it in English. Yes, it's French. Ah, oui. Oui. I think they're so marrant. I love how you dance and your plaid. It's not really my style, okay. but I mean, I think you have nice bodies, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, all right. I like the color. The color? Yeah. Okay, the color right. is beautiful. So that's in Eastern Europe. Now let's go over to the Muslim countries now. Marrying a black man. And that's haram. It's straight up haram. The Prophet وسلم, said, He said that if someone comes to you and you're okay with his deen, meaning his Islam and his character, then marry him. He didn't say his tribe. He didn't say his skin color. He didn't say what race he is, what language he speaks. So many parents will use all of these excuses to stop their daughters from marrying black men, all because they have biases against black men. Because they think wrongly and in a haram way about black men. Did you know that Prophet Adam salam was black? Did now, why is that happening? You see what she's explaining? The parents, their parents, the Muslim parents, look at black men a certain way. Right? And she looks like she's from uh, Iraq or something. I'm just throwing it out there. Right? Why do they look at us that way? What do you keep hearing in, in, in the media? Right? You don't hear about, you can see it with black women. But black guys are lied on. Why? How are black guys lied on? Because the guys, and that's what what guys have stated the whole video. Who did who? Who what black man did this to you, right? The guys that you have problem with, you're blaming it on all black men, which is not something we do, right? And that's a problem. Did you know that Prophet Musa alayhi salam was black? The color of your skin doesn't matter. In our deen, we have. Arabized and whitewashed our history to make it seem that there are no black Muslims. But if a man comes to you and he's Muslim and he's black, you have no reason to say no, except that you're not happy with his Islam or his akhlaq, his character. Other than that, any other reason is haram. And if your parents are standing in your way and telling you you can't marry someone because of their skin color, you can disobey them. You absolutely can because what they're doing is haram and we have been instructed to be kind to them, to be respectful of our parents. But when they ask us to do something haram, we stand up and we say no. Wow. Man, I respect that. As Andrew Tate would say, haram. But yeah, guys, this is what's happening. Listen, ladies, black men don't care what's happening with you. Truly, we don't care. You have some guys and they come in your comments and ah, nah, 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 nah. that's not the entirety of black men. Most black men could care less. Why could we care less? Because we know you're going to do what you want to do anyway. 
We can't control you. Do you think we think we can control you? No. So what's happening now is most guys are saying, I want to depart. I want to see what's happening in some of these other countries and these other places and with these other people. Because we all realize there's definitely more to life than dealing with you. Hold the line. Stay with me. This is the way. Your passport, bro. Passport. No. So he's coming.